Hello everybody, this is Kian the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I have Sonoff Wi-Fi door window sensor. I will show you how to set it up and use it. Using this device is easy as it doesn't need gateway. Pairing this device with Evelink app, you will be notified if the door or window is opened or closed. Also, you can see their status on the app. Therefore, using Sonoff DW2, or let's say door window sensor, you can have a simple alarm system. Before continuing the video, I thank Seper Monavar Group and Artman Company for supporting me. Let's start pairing the device. Let's start with unboxing Sonoff DW2. In the box, we have transmitter, magnet, Also, we have a quick manual, production qualification, and 3M adhesive tape for installing. On the back of the transmitter, you can find some specifications of the device. The device needs two AAA batteries for power source and they are not included so you should purchase it let's remove the cover of transmitter while inserting batteries pay attention to the identifiers of positive and negative poles I insert the batteries the device is ready to be paired on the transmitter we have the pairing button long press the pairing button on the transmitter for five seconds with the eject pin until the LED indicator flashes. Then the device enters the pairing mode. I use a needle, press and hold the button for five seconds. This is the LED, it's blinking. On the Evilink app, make sure the app has access to location and Bluetooth is enabled. I touch plus, select Bluetooth pairing. I check the indicator is blinking correctly, then touch next. The Evilink app finds the Bluetooth of the device. I select connect. Now we should follow the instruction of the app. In this page, I select the Wi-Fi. I want to connect the device to it. Here, I enter the password of the Wi-Fi. Click Save. The device is added successfully. You can set a name for it. For example, door sensor. You can set an, also you can set a room for it. I select living room. Then I touch done. Wait till the device appears on the Evilink app. If pairing is failed, maybe the firmware of your device is old. Make sure your Wi-Fi supports 802.11b. Also, Wi-Fi SSID must contain only A to Z. And for better result, make sure Wi-Fi password just contains number 0 to 9. While installing the device, make sure to align the marks on the magnet and transmitter. Make sure the installation gap is less than 5 millimeters when the door or the window is closed. 
door sensor is displayed on the EVLink app. It is closed, open, closed. You see that we receive notifications. As you see at the top of the display of EVLink app, new firmware available. I select on three dots at the top right corner of the screen. Select or let's say touch current version. By touching update now and selecting confirm. Opening or closing the door. The device starts to be upgraded. Wait till upgrading finishes. Upgrade is done. The firmware of the device is latest version. In this page we have the battery status. Also the status of the door. It is closed. Open. Closed. You can sync camera to the device. At the top right corner of the display, you see the camera icon. I select it. Then select camera, select save. Now the device is synced with camera. Also, you can see the history or let's say log of the device by going to the setting of the device, touching three dots at the top right corner of the screen, selecting logs. Also, we can use the device in scenes. I touch scene, select add, in if as trigger, I touch add, select a smart device, it is door sensor. I can set the scene based on door is open or closed. I set door open, click save. Then as action, in the action section, I touch add, select a smart device or I can add delay to it. I select a smart device, select dimmer, for example, set the dim to 50. I set night light, then select save. Effective period every day 24 hours safe I set a name for it for example turn on dimmer as you saw using this device is easy and simple Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.